Hey guys, so I finally gave in. I couldn't resist the hype. And I finally bought Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau Paradise Garden. And on this video, I'll be giving you my review on it because I've been wearing it for around two days now. I'll be telling you about its performance, how it smells, everything. The bottle is just straight up amazing. Just look at the color. I love, love, love this bottle. But what's important, it's the smell. And straight up, this is by far the most refreshing Le Beau of like the entire line. This one, in my opinion, is also the best one for high heat summer days because the original Le Beau can be a bit too sweet, too cloying for some situations, like when it's just way too hot. I think the original Le Beau cannot, just kind of doesn't work there. Also, Le Beau Le Parfum, I don't think it's a summer fragrance, in my opinion. It's more for summer nights because... That one's just way too heavy for like a high heat summer day. Whereas this one does work because it's a bit, I don't want to say lighter, but it's just fresher than the other ones. This one starts off very, very green. Like when you spray this, you just get that green herbal vibe with some mint. In fact, a lot of mint. And yeah, the coconut, you can sort of feel it, but it's just way in the background. What you get in this opening is just mint, herbal notes, also ginger. You get a lot of ginger as well, but it's mainly a very, very green opening. When some time has passed, it starts to get a little bit salty. The coconut just becomes much more present. The greenness is still there, but it sort of just takes a backseat a little bit, not that much. The mint, though, the mint is very present still. The fig, I think the fig mostly just mixes with the coconut, really. So that's why I kind of didn't feel it as much. But yeah, like that coconut creaminess starts to like get more present here. And the greenness I, takes like a little step back, but not too much. Though the mint, for me at least, is still very, very present. In the dry down is where this just sort of turns to that Le Beau DNA that it's already well known now. That coconut, sandalwood, tonka bean. It becomes much more creamier. The coconut is still there. Though the mint, at least for me, is still there. It's still a little fresh, but mostly it becomes a bit creamier now. Which is understandable because it's a little both flanker. So yeah, the two notes that will be constantly present in this fragrance are the coconut and the mint. They're always there. Sometimes a bit more present than in other times. But yeah, coconut and mint are always there. And in my opinion, they complement themselves perfectly. The best part of this fragrance, in my opinion, is the opening. I mean, two days have passed now and I still just love the opening like the first time I smelled this. It's just amazing how good the opening of this is. Like, it's so refreshing, it's crazy. On terms of performance, I've been very impressed with this fragrance. Like, for a fresh fragrance, even though it's an EDP, I did not expect it to last that long. It lasts around nine to 10 hours for me. I couldn't believe I could still smell this. Like, it's crazy how good of a performance this has. Cause you have to remember, this is a fresh fragrance. Fresh fragrances don't tend to last that long. Also, in terms of projection, it's average, really. Like, it's moderate, nothing too special about that. But still, on longevity, it's really, really good. This is great for every day, summer, spring, casual situations when you, you know, go out with friends, family. I think that's where you should wear this fragrance. It's great for that. It's I can't see this for, like, formal situations or a bit more special. Nah, this is for casual situations pretty versatile in my opinion i don't know if it has enough lasting power for you know winter if it's strong enough to cut through winter i don't know i have to try that but for summer spring this works great overall i've been really impressed by this release by jean paul gaultier i was not expecting it to be this good i think it's my favorite Le Beau now but yeah guys let me know what you think about this fragrance if it's available in your country if it's not if you smelled it, if you're impressed, if you like it, don't like it, let me know in the comments. And yeah, as always, please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for making it to the end of the video.